During the summer of 2022, I decided to electrify my Boardman Hybrid MTX 8.8. .8. I opted to use LVBU Technologies from China as the uh, to-go system, a system that incorporates a hub motor at the front, bottle battery located on the actual frame itself, and communicates with the controller and the battery system using Bluetooth technology. A system that's compatible with many shapes and types of bicycle. I went for a front hub motor because I thought it'd be a lot easier to fit. The addition of the battery and hub motor at the front added 6.8 kilograms to the bike's weight. I ordered the LVB UKF series electric wheel and batteries. I ordered two batteries because I wanted extra range. It arrived eight weeks later in this box. You can't, it's all tied together. So. so, smells of fresh rubber. All right, there's a motor. in the box after uh, taking everything out you've got a black battery a red battery with the bike fitting to attach to your frame you've got um, a disc for the disc brake you've got various equipment to put it on with you've got a uh, throttle which is illegal in Britain on the road, but you can use it off-road if you want. You've got a cable to connect to the charger. You've got a charger. This was a freebie thrown in by um, Maya, the girl I was dealing with, using WhatsApp. And it's just an extension arm for... Because you suddenly your handlebars on your bike become a bit cluttered with all this extra stuff. Obviously you've got the wheel, the motor, the lead from the motor, and then you've got um, a tyre, a inner tube, and a very useful bag actually. Fitted, the electric wheel looks like this on the bike. The main difficulty as far as fitting was making sure you got the right spaces between the actual um, fork arms and the, uh, the hub itself. It took a little while to get it correct but uh, it's just making sure that everything's clear as, as it spins round, nothing's actually touching the actual fork from the, the motor. Control over the electric motor within the front wheel hub is by a Bluetooth controller as shown here with a built-in uh, Bluetooth throttle which is totally wireless but you've also got a downloadable application as you press the throttle it spins the wheel because the, it opens electricity from the battery to the motor and you've got forward momentum you control the um, electric wheel assist level using an up arrow button and a down arrow button as shown here I'm going up to 99% um, the down button takes it down in increments of 5 down to 0 With the KF series, which is attached to this bicycle, you get a bottle cage uh, battery setup, which attaches to your diagonal down tube on your bike. Um, the wires go around the actual triangle of the frame. Um, well, that's what I fitted it like in this case. And um, it's attached using cable ties to the frame, which means you can take it all off if you want to fairly easily. And then it runs um, along the top tube and down the forks and uh, goes to a entry into the actual electric hub located between the, uh, the, the forks on the front wheel. As far as noise goes, it doesn't really generate a huge amount of noise. It's a bit of a whine, but it's not too bad. 
It's more noticeable inside um, where I'm demonstrating it here on a bicycle work stand um, on the road. It really doesn't seem to, uh, you don't notice it to be honest with you most of the time. The graphic user interface for the downloadable free application for controlling the electric hub looks like this. It's fairly self-explanatory with a, a scroll a horizontal bar to control the assist level on the electric motor. If you did get the Bluetooth controller, the first thing you've got to do is use these screens to connect it with the actual bottle cage management system. When you set up your user profile in the application for controlling your electric hub motor, there's a whole selection of different options to choose from so that you create a profile that matches your um, physical characteristics with the actual bicycle's assist level. The longest ride I've done since I fitted my KF series LVBU electric wheel has been 95 miles. I went from Shepshed in Leicestershire to Skegness on the North Sea. My moving speed was 15.2 miles an hour average. During the trip I used an entire battery and about 20% of my second backup battery. The electric wheel had performed brilliantly, assisting me on the hills and providing a little bit of momentum on the flats when I was uh, cruising along at sort of 15 to 17 miles an hour. All in all, it was excellent. To demonstrate the operation of the Bluetooth controller, I've created an experiment using rollers. The aim being to show how incremental rises of 5% gradually lessen the effort required to pedal. percentage level rise. So we're on to 5% now. assistance. 